Thank you so much for joining the debate. First of all, let us understand um, uh, the fact that when we see any sort of changes in the interest rate, um, why are they done? And then, of course, with, with the way that the current government um, has um, acted in the past, um, we've seen last month that um, 100 basis points were increased with uh, regards to the interest rate, of course, with its, uh, for its impact on inflation. Um, it has now uh, maintained the interest rate at 9.75% for the next month and a half. Um, why was this a step that was important and how is this a step that is good for the economic situation at the moment? Well, I think first of all, uh, let's all recognize that uh, this is probably the first uh, monetary policy statement uh, after the passage of the independence uh, of uh, state bank uh, bill by National Assembly. Uh, why, why it is significant? It is significant because uh, in this bill, it has been established that the uh, primary function of state bank would be price stability, uh, which means a particular uh, inflation number or, a, or inflation uh, targeting or a band or a range of inflation. Uh, and that um, also, as you recently heard the prime minister when yesterday he was addressing the public, on the telephone, that this is the like, single most important problem, which or the challenge uh, of the government, uh, right. rightly so. Um, in the monetary policy statement itself, uh, the state bank mentions that their ideal inflation target is five uh, percent to seven percent, uh, whereas the latest uh, PBS numbers suggest that the uh, year-on-year inflation. Uh, was more than 12%. Uh, so, uh, you know, in an ideal scenario to, uh, to sort of uh, beat that inflation, you have to increase uh, the interest rate even further. Right? Uh, but obviously that is uh, not happening because that will also mean cost of lending, cost of borrowing will go up. Right. Uh, so, so you, uh, I think it... It Can is. you uh, actually give us the pros and cons of this decision? I mean, uh, if uh, it is not increased, uh, what is the negative hmm. side and what is the positive side, sir, in detail? I think on the positive side, uh, look, uh, of course, um, the the borrowers, the private sector uh, borrowing has been on the, on the high side for last one year. Uh, the credit to the private sector has increased uh, significantly including uh, due to the concessionary financing of the state bank. Uh, exports have been uh, rising, exports have been taking credit. So on the positive side, if the rate has not increased, it means that at least that continued rate, uh, they will continue to borrow more. Uh, although uh, some of the chambers and federation were expecting a decline in the rate, and I'm, I'm happy that the rate was not further declined. So I think that is on the positive side in terms of the private sector borrowing. On the right. negative side, um, as I said, um, I think there is still a room for a further increase in the inflation, uh, sorry, in the interest rate uh, to right. uh, match uh, the inflation target which the state bank itself has defined. Uh, uh, you know, five to seven percent. But uh, uh, don't you think that actually raising that or hiking that would actually slow down the economic activity in the country? Yeah. So that's the other. That's the other uh, factor. You see, um, because a significant part of our um, economy uh, is informal, uh, is not working through banks, is not working through documented informal sector. Um, let's say the agriculture sector, uh, by and large. Um, is small farmers and they are not working uh, through the banks. Uh, so I don't expect a significant decline in the economic activity. But I, what I do, but I do see that if you increase the interest rate, and perhaps you can uh, slow down uh, the monetary expansions, uh, slow down the, the uh, monetary expansion because the stock of the money itself becomes a, a reason for inflation. Uh, right. Simply, but reason, Alisa, the reason um, is that our Alisa, economy uh, is not able to when produce. When you are talking about this, is not actually impacting the economic activity. If I am getting, a, going to get a lot of interest on my money when I park it in a bank, why would I invest in any project that uh, that might be returning me less profits? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's an important point. I mean, uh, and you know, if, if you recall. 
a couple of years ago uh, within this government we saw that uh, when the policy uh, rate was uh, significantly increased uh, at that point in time it it attracted um, uh, foreign capital it attracted capital in, in uh, stock uh, stock market in in bonds uh, in government in fixed income instruments so i think that was the time where um, the uh, sort of also uh, we, we we saw the inflow of uh, international investment at least in the financial uh, market uh, whereas when you are decreasing uh, the interest rate uh, you do encourage uh, to be spent more widely you know more widely in the productive sector so that's that's the trade off which uh, the policy makers would often like to see right yeah. ali so, when we see the fact that of course this um, this is all when we when we see and try and understand uh, perhaps uh, not as easy for the general public to understand um, these are in fact just numbers um but when we actually see uh, their impact that's what of course the common people are more interested in um what sort of an impact will it have on the lives of the common people if you would would have to explain it to somebody um uh, the result of such a policy is there are their lives going to be any better um i i'm afraid no uh, because let's say what is uh, impacting uh, our day to day lives right so so for instance the prices of uh, uh you know prices of commodities prices of petrol prices of electricity yeah. prices of food uh so these all the items are uh, pretty independent of the variation in the interest rate movement right but uh, because but sir, can we can uh, you we know, say government is increasing the rate of electricity for instance um, you know uh, there's a totally different dynamic this there's an imf demand for raising the electricity tariff Yeah. So Sir, regardless we... of where increase and decreasing that will increase so i do not expect i okay. do not expect um uh, especially this time because there has been no change in the interest rate so obviously we would not uh, expect any change all right sure yeah. so, last can question sir yeah. yes sir can we can we say that let's say that can we say, say, that, can we say uh, as as you were earlier mentioning sorry yes you can conclude yes yeah. ali sorry just let me just let me because i was saying that you know uh, when we talk about let's say the employability and when we talk about the job creation by the private sector especially uh, those who are uh, the companies firms which are in the export sector who do get uh, the loans from the banking sector i think in a way that helps um, indirectly but uh, not directly as in the in terms of our day to day consumption i do not see that happen sir i had the same question as you earlier mentioned that it is of course going to improve the exports then of course the uh, you know uh, the increase in production as well we are expecting and that would require more jobs to be made uh, in the private sector so can, can can't we say this that it is going to be uh, uh, going to give a political mileage to uh, the ruling party sir and very quickly if i can add i know it is the last segment uh very quickly is it going to actually uh, appreciate the situation regarding uh, the current account deficit if uh, all this actually improves and mm -hmm. the economic mm -hmm. activity and expo exports pick up uh yes i mean uh, uh, you know of, co of course we are trying to improve the current account deficit uh, yeah. by th two means uh, we are trying to raise the exports revenue so if the private sector continues to Uh, borrow and invest in the productive activities, and then earn exports. Uh, one definitely is going to, uh, you know, increase uh, and and help uh, reduction of the current account deficit. But also, I think when we have this uh, schemes like Russian digital accounts, Russian digital accounts have also attractive uh, attracted, um, you know, a lot of overseas Pakistanis to park their investment in Pakistani. Uh, financial sector and uh, in that sense actually um, on the other hand the raise in the interest rate will actually attract uh, right. even thank more thank you very much mr ali salman unfortunately we're out of time thank you so much for joining us and sharing your views uh, of course what we hope at the end of the day is uh, for the economic progress of the country um, and we hope that things are moving in the right direction so that the people of pakistan can actually benefit from the changes uh, that of course the government is trying to make um, there are of course limitations to every action but we really hope that it does trickle down to something beneficial for all that's a lot that we have from the debate at moment join us tomorrow at 9 for more stories